Changing jobs will not solve your problems. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video. Something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. Changing jobs will not solve your problems. If you are currently in a job that it makes you unhappy in some way, you need to evaluate your situation before you jump on the other side of the fence. Because the grass is not always greener on the other side. The truth of the matter is, the grass is greener wherever they water the damn grass. Okay? Job hopping is, is a difficult topic. Because you don't want to be in a job that makes you miserable, or is unsafe, unpredictable, or threatens your livelihood in some way. It's dangerous enough to threaten your licensure. Those scenarios are easy to, that's an easy answer. Get the hell out quickly. It's the middle of the road, wishy-washy kind of under your fingernail type of situations that are difficult to solve. You're in a job that you're not completely happy with. Yeah, you got some pieces of it that you like and some that you don't like. There's things that you hate, there's things that you love. And at the end of the day, you're trying to determine in your brain should I be looking for another job or should I tough it out? The quick answer is it's there's no blanketed way of answering that question. Sorry. Every job, every scenario, every person in every geographical location and every position is different every single time. You got to take into consideration how long have you been a nurse how long have you been in that job? And what are your overall career goals? Now, if you're in a job in a job position that is not where you want to end up or not where you want to be, then you should probably think about looking for another job. But you shouldn't be looking for another job if you just started doing that, the particular job you're in, for less than three months. I think we've talked about this before. I have that six to, six to 12 month rule where you, you should really try and tough it out. And after that 12 months, if you feel no differently, then it's time to start looking. But you need to, you need to break it down into what's negotiable and non-negotiable. Non-negotiables for me are job satisfaction. I got to be happy doing the actual job. Other non-negotiables for me are having a management team that support me. They may not always agree with me. In fact, most of the time management shouldn't agree with me because that's their job. But they should support me and they should elevate my game. They improve my situation. Not try and put me down, not try and step on my neck. Those are pretty much my only non-negotiables. Meaning that, that if those two things are not present, then I get to step in. It's time for me to move on. I can't, for, for a lack of a better term, putting shit in a box is still shit in my book. And I'm sorry that I can't think of a better description without using some colorful language, but that's the truth. You can pretty up the box all you want, put all the bells and whistles you want on it, but the inside of the box is what matters the most to me. But if the inside of the box is still stanky, stanky is as stanky does, it's not for me. So I got to have a good deal of job satisfaction and I got to have a management team that supports me. The negotiables, this is where it gets a little hazy. Because there's certain things that I really, 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 really want, and then there's certain things I'm like, Pfft. okay, fine. You know, everybody talks about salary and pay rate. Now, that is super important. You should get paid what you should get paid. You should get paid what you're worth. But your worth changes as you progress in this profession. Keep that in mind. Without offending half of my Without a, at the risk.
risk of offending half the tribe, you have to be you have to be realistic and you have to be honest. I don't know about you, but the worth of a nurse that has less than six months of experience and the worth of a nurse who has five years, seven years, ten years, twenty years of experience is very different. So quite honestly, they should get paid a little bit differently. They probably all should start out at the same, but experience matters. So pay scale is wishy-washy. You really gotta you really gotta microanalyze that and figure out what works for you, because to, quite honestly, if you're getting paid such a horrible amount, if your pay rate is suboptimal to the point where you can't pay your bills and support your family, once again, that's a no-brainer. Other negotiables are the fringe benefits. What kind of personal time do you get? What kind of vacation time do you get? What's the schedule like? Those kind of things. A big negotiable, non-negotiable for a lot of people is the shift that you're working. And this, this kind of plays off of your worth, your experience, and what you're willing to negotiate. For many years, that was a negotiable thing for me. I could work any shift that I needed that, that was required of me. And over the years, I've developed a couple problems that have stopped that negotiation. I no longer can work midnights. It affects my health, and in a very bad way. And that's me. Sure, I know we all could argue the fact that night shift is unhealthy for everybody, but without divulging all of my personal information, that's just me. The point I'm trying to make is start making lists. Start early. Start early in your career on the negotiables and the non-negotiables when it comes to job searching. Because most of us don't work a single job in our entire career. Most of us don't find a job right out of graduation and then stay there for 30 years. Most of us will work at least three jobs in our career, if not more. So when you go from one job to the next job, you should have a good idea of what you're looking for each time you transition. For those of you who have been doing this a hot minute, I'd love to hear what your negotiables and what your non-negotiables are. Leave your comment down below. You know your comments are my caffeine. Share this with somebody. I know there are nurses out there that would love to hear this video. Share the vlog and pass it on. And as always, check your own pulse first.